Have you recently moved to a new place? I'm getting ready to move in two weeks, and so I'm already starting to think through, oh my goodness, it's time to make new friends. It's kind of exciting and kind of scary and kind of exhausting. I wish I could just take my friends with me wherever I went or, uh, yeah, that we could just all never leave each other. And yet, most of us move on a regular basis and have to figure out how to make new friends. Uh, it's one of the key pieces to belonging to a new area. We can land the great job, we can find the dream house, we can find the, our favorite grocery store, like we can love where we live. And if we don't know people, if we don't have good relationships, we won't feel like we belong. It's the relationships that leave us feeling rooted to a place. It matters so, so, so much. And yet it's often one of the things that we kind of put off or we just kind of hope happens. And then two years later, we're still like, I don't have any friends here. And so it's a really important thing that we just lean into with incredible intentionality. And, uh, and it actually is never easier than right when we move there, interestingly enough. We wait longer and longer and it gets weirder and weirder, harder and harder. I mean, it's easier on many levels to go introduce yourself to your neighbor when you can say, we just moved in. <laughs> it's a little harder to go do it uh, when you're like, we moved in three years ago and haven't had a chance to meet you yet. And so we kind of have this excuse, <laughs> this like time that feels more natural and more normal and more understandable. So it's uh, always a good thing to try to just say, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to do a video series that helps all of us who have moved recently, even if it has been three years ago, these tips will still be helpful, uh, or those of us who are preparing for a move. Uh, in the first video here, I want to talk about the number one most important thing for building a friendship, and that is consistency. Consistency. If we want a brand new friendship, we have to figure out a way that we can be consistent with people. So I want to talk about this in two different ways. The first way I want to ask you to think about consistency is who are you already close to that you need to practice a new way of consistency because you're moving? So who are you moving away from that maybe your job or living next to each other or just living in the same city helped you build those relationships. And now you're stepping out of that mm, container of consistency and you're stepping into a new place where now you're not going to be bumping into each other, seeing each other, working next to each other, dropping your kids off at the same school. So now you need to create new consistency. This is where so many of our friendships just die. Uh, when we talk about friends forever, the only friends that we make it with in the long term are the friends that we practice a new way of consistency when the last way ends. And the last way always ends at some point. And so it's always our job to figure out a new way to be connected. And so very first thing before we even like talk about making new friends is identifying who are the people that you don't want to drift apart from. We can't stay in touch with everybody, but is there anybody that you want to stay close to? And have that conversation with them beforehand or decide to yourself that you are just going to call them every other week and you're going to put, put a reminder in your phone or ask them if they're available to uh, schedule your next getaway and say, I'm moving, but I'm going to come back in two months and visit you. Is that doable? Like get something scheduled. Figure out who you want to stay close to and be intentional about this. Um, when I've moved in the past and same this time, uh, I have long distance friends who I ask to, uh, when I moved to San Francisco, I said to one of my girlfriends, I said, huh, can you just, can we just talk once a week? I think I'm going to need a little more connection because now everybody I'm meeting, there's going to be no meaningful conversation, right? It's going to take a while. It's going to be all small talk and getting to know each other. And that's important, but it doesn't like feed the heart in the same way. It doesn't have intimacy. And so I asked some of my friends who I have intimacy built in already, can we up our consistency so that I feel like I've got people close to me holding my heart through this? And, um, and she said, yes. And it bonded and strengthened that friendship in such a way that we did that for years, even after I made local friends. And this time, same thing. I am, have a weekly girls group that I will still be on my Zooms with, and I'll still be doing my phone calls. And so I'm going to have intimacy in my life no matter where I move. And so if you have some of those people, just lock in now. I know we're talking about making new friends, but let's lock in not losing some of the people you've already invested in. You might remember in past videos, I've talked about the research that shows it takes us like 200 hours before we feel like we're best friends with somebody. 
If you've logged those 200 hours or a hundred of those hours, you're so much better off building upon that than just starting all over. So let's not start all over. Take some people with us. Now, what does consistency look like when we move to a new place? I'm going to do my next video on all the best ways to do that. But let me talk here about why that's so important because you're going to meet amazing people. You're going to meet them uh, all over the place. We meet people all the time. You're going to start running into people. You're going to be introduced to people. You're going to meet people. And it, the biggest determining factor to whether you become friends with some of those people is whether that seeing them and meeting them becomes regular. Is there a way to make it more consistent, more repetitive? Uh, this is so crucial. It comes down to basically two ways that we can do that. One is that we join something or participate in something that's regular. Uh, so we join something that every month a group of people are getting together or we join the country club and we, we participate in that golf. We start getting grouped together with golf people or we, uh, you know, go to attend a religious organization regularly, whatever it is, like what are the things you can join a book club, a cooking club, anything? Uh, what can you say yes to that is already regular for you? The only other alternative is that you have to create the consistency, which means when you meet somebody, you have to invite them to get together again. And then you have to like make that happen. And then you need to follow up and then you need to do it again. And then you need to do it again. And it's doable. Absolutely. I would guess that, hmm, I haven't done the math on this recently. Half my friendships are done that way. I'm not joining something and meeting them. I'm like meeting somebody that we both like each other and we have to find the way to keep connecting. So it's totally doable, but we just have to say, okay, I am going to make sure that this person and I see each other regularly because there's no way to ever feel close to somebody just meeting them on one-offs, right? We can go to a party and find all kinds of people we like. And if we never see them again, we won't have friends. So we have to have consistency right there in the front of our minds when we move and, uh, and start realizing that we need to find the ways to commit to either joining something or initiating and inviting and making that consistency happen. And so uh, right off the bat, as we're moving, consistency, consistency, consistency. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about some of the best ways to be consistent and what that might look like. And also, I just wanted to mention, I've got a coaching circle coming up. Uh, it starts September 12th, this is 2022. Uh, and if you'd like to join that, that would be one of the best ways to have uh, accountability and relationships and weekly um, seeing the same people over and over and over. So build some new relationships and have teaching in place and coaching in place to help you really say I'm going to make local friends in my area this fall. So that could be one of the best ways I'm going to be doing it this year. I mean, I'm always facilitating it, but this year I'm going to be like doing all the exercises to make my own new friendships. And so I'll be in it with you in that respect. So feel free to join us uh, and we'll make sure that you're a part of that coaching circle is one of my favorite things I do. Uh, it's just so special. So we'll send you all the information about that in the notes below. And um, so yeah, do that, watch these other videos. There's books out there that I've written. There's so many other ways, but right off the bat, tip number one, figure out how you wanna be consistent because you won't feel close to somebody until you start seeing them regularly so you can become familiar with them so that you start feeling comfortable with them so you can start building that trust and that reliability on each other. All right, I can't wait.